Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So we got something kind of different going on right now. I'm actually on my way to a buddy's house. He just picked up a car from an auction that I think you guys would be pretty interested in seeing. It's, uh, there's no body damage on it that I know of, but it got totaled and uh, it's kind of a surprise. It could either be really good, super easy fix, or it could be an expensive fix. I'm on my way there right now and I'm gonna take you guys along with me and uh, show you guys what it is and we'll see what you guys think about it and uh, comment down below on what you guys think caused this. And uh, yeah, let's go from there and then uh, I think this should be interesting. Okay. What do you guys think happened in here? <laughs> there seems to be a little mess going on over here. If anybody knows the owner. Or if somebody knows who owns this car. It's got cob, cob intake, cob intercooler. Seems to have all kinds of aftermarket parts. And then they got all this going on. Is it an easy fix? Or is it going to be a... Wish I never bought this car. <laughs> Rest of the car looks fine. There was no front bumper in the pictures, but there's a front bumper. Got a little bit of damage, but it's usable. Got some kind of wheels. Tires seem decent. Exhaust. Well, there were some antifreeze in there. Got the radiator off. All kinds of mess going on in there. Radiator seems to be fine. Look the intercooler though, looks so sick. I totally uh, forgot, dude. <laughs> Alright, so we're tearing it apart a little bit. Timing belt seems fine. This is the wire harness. It's melted onto this intake. So that's our next step. Try to take this sucker off. Couple bolts here. And then hopefully we could get it off. What'd you do? Did you break something? Yeah. Trying to break off the freaking cover. Let's 
good, dude. All right, so we got the scent take off, and I think we found our problem. There's a little, there's a little, a little hole in the motor. Whether it got a, caught on fire after it blew up, or maybe somebody just made an insurance claim and thought it'd be easier to just light it on fire. Oh yeah, this is the mess we got going on. I was hoping for something easier than that, but... A motor it, swap is gonna be easier than that. New motor. Coming right up. Look at this mess. Probably gonna keep the same engine harness. Just put a little bit of electrical <laughs> tape on it. Yeah, it'll it be fine. Work. I think it'll be all right. Should it short out? I'm <laughs> no, just joking. <laughs> so. Here's the parts that we took off. So I mean, I still got a bunch of aftermarket parts. That are good. Cob intercooler, piping, cob intake, little radiator shield, blow off. Should still be alright. Oh, you wanna go put in the show? Little JB Weld. Should probably fix that problem. What are you mad now? No, How excited are you now? Are you a little demoted? Yeah. Demotivated? <laughs> alright. It's alright. Should still be a goodbye. Even with the motor. Hello. There. <laughs> Motor spins. Oh, dude, there's like a, little, a bunch of pieces in there. Can you actually see it? Right there. What's that from? Watch, dude, that's something snapped well off. Don't get your finger stuck. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, it's like bent. Bent real good in here. Oh, yeah, there's a piece of... Looks like a piece of the rod right there. Mm -hmm. Well, there you have her. The worst happened. <laughs> So now I can't get any worse than this. <laughs> uh, hello darkness, my old friend. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right guys, so we're done for today. Found out what's really wrong with it. Gonna start looking for an engine. Like I said before, the car, the rest of it's in really good shape. The body's in good shape. But. It's got a little hole. Something went knock knock from the inside and wanted to come out. But it's got a bunch of aftermarket parts, so somebody must have been boosting a whole lot of. Horsepower. But it's still a good buy. Eighty nine K miles.
Stay tuned. As soon as that new engine comes out, or wherever it is to hunt, or if anybody knows of anybody that has an engine in uh, somewhere nearby in Washington State, shoot me a DM on Instagram. Interested in buying an engine from a, this is a 2011 WRX. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.